During a flight, you cannot switch back and forth between manual settings and auto settings. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Daniel here and the Magic Mini over there. So guys, there was a very important update on our Mavic Mini uh, this week and uh, it's version 01.00.0500 but to run that new firmware you need also to update the app on your phone or tablet to version 1.0.8. Now what DJI says, and you see it on the screen here, it is supposed to optimize the remote control performance uh, improve flight stability in some scenarios. They don't say which scenarios, but it would be interesting to see or to know what scenarios these are. Uh, manual exposure for video and also manual white balance uh, adjustment. So this is good. They added 2.7K at 24 frames per second. Before we had only 30. So if you want more a cin cinematic video, we have 24 or 1080p. They add the 24 or 48 frames per second. Also, there's an improved download speed for photos and videos. And finally, they added support for to adjust operation frequency in Ukraine. I guess our, our folks in Ukraine had problem with operation frequency. Now, the, uh, the two main things, of course, are uh, added manual exposure. Uh, for video and manual white balance. Now, I tried those before doing this video. I did a few flights and uh, it's not clear to me. So let me show you on the controller what happens. Now, I have the Mavic Mini facing the bookcase and as you can see on my phone, I can switch to photo mode and I can switch to video mode. And um, you can see at the bottom on the right side, we have the exposure the uh, auto lock for the exposure and we are in auto mode so i'm not filming right now you can see the timer is off below the red circle so if i tap on this auto mode i can go to manual mode i can adjust the iso and the uh, shutter speed so i can get out of this now so i don't need to uh, fly because that would be too uh, noisy so all i need to do here is um, start a video and as you can see with the timer it is playing now, but I cannot go now to uh, drink the video. I cannot go to automatic settings. I can go here and change the ISO. Let's go higher to 1600 because it's dark here. So you, I can do that, but I cannot drink the video, go back to auto mode. So I have to stop the video. Then I could go to auto mode and restart the video. Once the video is started again, I cannot go to manual mode. As you can see, auto is grayed out. So I can stop the video. Now I can change the auto to uh, manual mode and restart the video. And then manual mode is grayed out. I cannot go to uh, automatic. So during a flight, you cannot switch back and forth between manual settings and auto settings. So from the announcement from DJI, I thought we could do that when they said manual control. So it doesn't seem to be that way. If I switch to photo mode, I am in auto now, so I can take a photo. So in auto mode, it doesn't really matter because it's an instant photo. So I can right after go back to auto and change it to manual and take a photo in manual mode. So it's really in video mode. Okay, you can switch between manual and auto mode, but once you, once you start the video, you cannot switch anymore between the two. Like I said, I'm a little surprised with this. I was expecting, when I said the announcement, I was expecting this to be switchable between the two, but it doesn't seem to be the case as we can see here. So guys, like you saw in this short demonstration, it doesn't appear that you can switch between auto and manual mode while you are 
filming. So you have to interrupt your video and then switch between the two. So that is not what I expected. Okay, it's nice to be in manual mode and then you fly and then on the fly you can change your settings in manual mode. That is fine. But if you want to go back to auto, you have to stop the video to be able to switch that. So I'm a little surprised, like I said. So if you found something else by any chance, let me know in the comments below. And uh, see you next time. Goodbye, guys.